Good morning, guys. My name is Rob. I'm a guide at Anidot Fishing Charters down in South Florida. Today we're at Lake Ida and we're gonna teach you how to catch clownfish from the kayak. There's many ways you can catch clownfish. The most effective way will be live bait. We use shiners and shad for bait and for hook. I like to use a size four J hook. Hook him by the nostril. And then I also like to use a split shot. This is a size seven on 20 pound to 12 pound leader. And all you simply do is cast it behind you. And as you're moving along the canals and lakes, you stroll it right behind you and wait for the bite. All right, so as you're throwing your live bait, you can also cast lures. This will be a very, very uh, effective one. Super simple. Just a jig head and a swim bait in a silver color. I mean, this looks like a shad or a shiner or any type of bait fish that lives around here. Uh, you can catch clownfish, peacock bass, and snakeheads. But this is proven to be very effective for the clownfish. All you got to do is cast it, let it sink slowly. Pop it every once in a while, or reel it in slowly, and repeat. Clownfish like to hang deeper, so make sure that this goes deeper in the water column. What I like about this kayak is the fact that if I wanna work on a shoreline, I can literally just point the motor the direction I wanna go to, then hit the heading button, and that's it. All right, so Lake Ida is a very, popular place for not only for fishing, but also for uh, water sports, recreational water sports like skiing and jet skis and stuff like that. But in the fishing part, it's a very healthy canal system. It houses many species anywhere from uh, sunshine bass, peacock bass, largemouth bass, uh, snakeheads and the famous clownfish. Also, uh, it's very important to note that a uh, world record clownfish is caught in this lake. I believe it's like a 14 pounder maybe. So that goes to show that uh, fish that are not even from this area get super big in this canal system just because of the amount of bait and water quality that they have over here. All right, so the main target today is obviously clown knife fish but there's a pretty good population of peacock bass in this lake, so they're very aggressive, they're always hungry, and you usually catch a few peacocks. Oh, there you go. Might be one. Feels nice. Oh, feels very nice. Oh. Feels very nice. Very, very nice. Nice peacock. <laughs> We're just talking about it. Paul hooked him. So yeah, so this is a peacock bass. It's, a, it's actually not a bass, it's a cichlid. But they're all over South Florida, anywhere from Homestead, all the way up to uh, West Palm Beach. And they're very powerful fighters. Uh, I'm so thankful that we have them over here. Uh, they're pretty cool looking, hard fighting, and they keep you entertained. So I'm sure we're gonna catch a few more of these today. Hopefully uh, we'll get a nice clownfish soon. Come on. Come on, bro. I'm an offshore angler. I know when the body's on. It's a peacock. Yep, peacock bass. So you can see, I bait worked pretty good. Here you go. The number four J hook. So we're using circle hooks first, because circle hooks are designed to, uh, to pretty much do this, but they're actually swallowing the whole hook. So 
Um, we switch to J hooks. Uh, most of the hook sets are like in, the, in their lips or like close to the opening of their mouth. So you don't have to worry about hooking them in their throat and stuff like that. All right guys, so we're fishing at the middle of the lake right now. Uh, I believe it's like probably like 14 feet deep. Uh, like I mentioned before, clownfish like to hang out in deeper areas. And if you look closely, if you want those people like to observe your environment, if you're fishing in an area where there's a lot of clownfish, you'll see them come up for air, kind of like a, like a catfish. But you'll notice there's like a little feather looking fin coming out of the water when they do that. So if you start seeing a bunch of fishes coming out for air, there's one over there just, just did it. Another one just did it too. Uh, then you know you're in the right area. However, sometimes they be doing that all day, kind of like tarpon, just trying to gulp some air and you won't get any, any bites at all. So it's a little frustrating, the, the clownfish they, uh, they like to have their, uh, their feeding times. So it's just a matter of fishing long enough or figuring it out when their feeding time is going to be. Guys, take them on. Take in line. All right, got one on. There you go. Woo! Here we go, guys. This is what we've been targeting. So this is the clown knife fish or the feather back clown fish. Uh, feather back because it has the, the little feather looking uh, fin. That's a dorsal fin. And it's kind of like, like an eel, you know, type fish. Uh, it can swim backwards, which is pretty cool to see when you're landing them. Uh, but overall, very good fight. They fight super hard. They, uh, they jump out of the water like tarpon do. They also roll and go pair like tarpon do. So uh, we're lucky to have it down here in South Florida. If you guys are interested in catching, now you know a little bit of how to get them. So here we go, South Florida clownfish.